Hello there. This is David from The Light Footed. Welcome to my channel. Today I would like to share with you guys a 10,000 step workout that I did um, on January the 2nd, which was a Saturday. Uh, this was done in the Sugar Creek area or Little Sugar Creek area by Freedom Park. And I encourage you to take up long distance walking as a way to lose weight or to just get in shape and I highly encourage you also to stay till the end of the video for useful information on apps that you can use uh, maybe some trackers what pace and what distance you can expect to do to get to your 10,000 steps so hope you find this useful Hello there, David here. I'm here at uh, what is it called Freedom Park. So switching the GPS from off to on. And it's ready. So GPS and GLONASS, which is a more accurate um, method of GPS tracking, it's on. So I'm going to use the GPS on the Garmin to track the distance and the pace and all that. And Freedom Park District, and we'll start the, uh, the walk and probably going to take me about, I think it's going to take me about an hour and a half I'm thinking an hour and a half but we'll see so let's get started
All right, guys, let's do the quick recap of the numbers that um, we have for that 10,000 walk or so. I'm sorry, 10,000 step walk from January the 2nd, Saturday. Um, as you can see, I'm logged into my Garmin Connect or Connect.Garmin, the, the app, it's called Garmin Connect. And this is a dashboard, so we're going to, you know, this is the most recent one. I haven't uploaded anything recently, but this is the dashboard when you log in. And I use the Forerunner 235, which is, as the name says, for running purposes, but you can also use it to track other activities. So we're going to go to our panel here, go to All Activities, and we're going to grab the most recent upload that I have, which is the walk that we were just discussing. I have titled it already. Just by clicking on the name, you should be able to bring up that activity directly. And I edited already the name, right? It gives us the time, which it was uh, 3.01 p.m. is when we started. And um, the quick recap of the measure numbers, uh, it's uh, 4.62 miles, um, 1.47 minutes. The average pace was 23.11 uh, minutes per mile. Again, that was because uh, I was stopping quite you know, a few times or, or quite often to take pictures and so forth. The elevation gain was 151 feet and calories, even though it looks like it's a lot, but have in mind that it was close to two hours, uh, even though it seems to be a little high, but I'll take those calories. And this is a quick preview of the um, map. I'm going to um, run it in a second, but first I'm going to give you a few more stats on the final numbers. So the elevation as we saw here, it's 151 feet, which is between the um, gains and the you know loss when you go down or, or up. So that's the elevation. That's just the quick elevation. It was mostly flat because of the park. The pace, um, you know, was around to 22. Uh, minutes per mile. Again, you can see when it dips down here, it goes to the 41. Very, it pretty much a, a stop. That's when I was taking the pictures. And then obviously I resumed and the the fastest, you know, areas would be like 17. There would be 16, probably the 16 uh, minutes per mile was the uh, fastest pace, but the average was around 22 uh, minutes per mile. The heart rate, the, the device that I was discussing, the uh, Forerunner 235 has a built-in heart rate that uh, tracks from your wrist. Maybe it's not as precise as the one, the, the old school, you know, that, that you used to wear on your chest, but I think it's somehow accurate, not, not super inaccurate, so I'll take it for the convenience. And the cadence, that's just kind of the uh, steps per minute. Um, I think it was 117 the average, if you guys see it to the right. So think of 117 steps per minute, right? Or if you were to uh, think like 60 uh, on your right side and you multiply by the left side, so that's close to, you know, 120. So just think of that. Uh, and then the final numbers again, summarizing uh, 4.62 miles, the calories again. This number is good because it tells you if it's having some impact on your uh, fitness or not. Um, it goes from one through five, so five being like a highly impacting, but anything above three, it's considered good. So this was a 4.1 impacted impact rather, and it was mostly because of the distance. It wasn't really a fast pace. It was more because you know close to two hours walking straight. Uh, so that that was a good. Uh, workout and you have here the again the the numbers again so hope you guys enjoy this and um i appreciate oh one one last thing before we go the temperature that day was 59 degrees average for the whole walk close to two hours so it was a nice not hot, not you know cold not uh hot the very very bit of wind not not too much you know only three miles per hour so i'm going to give you a quick review here of the map as you can see, I probably have to drag it a bit. So here's Freedom Park. This is the um, start. 
you know, I go all the way to, uh, it looks like Elizabeth Avenue College here, and then kind of loop back. So very quickly, I don't want to make this too long of a uh, uh, video, but <clears throat> so you just uh, hit the play button. Maybe it's not taking, let me make it smaller. So you hit the play button, which I don't know if you can see it here. There it goes. If you can see the the black dot going through and kind of loops back. And I probably would post a bigger map if needed, but I don't I don't think it's really needed. And there is the final part. Uh, all you would have to do is this, but again, it goes there. I mean, it's this is the, the Little Sugar Creek area. Kind of goes all the way up there and then come back. And after an hour and 47 minutes, then I'm kind of back at the start point almost. All right, so hopefully that's useful and uh, uh, you have some benefit of these workouts.